A stroke occurs when there's a sudden loss of blood supply to a part of the brain. This can be caused by a burst blood vessel or a blocked blood vessel. Now, how the person is affected will depend on which parts of the brain have been damaged by the stroke. This film will talk about problems with the mood or depression after stroke. Mood, act, listen, reassure. Around 30% of people with stroke will experience low mood. They may feel sad, lack motivation, or worry about things more than normal. It is normal to experience different moods at different times. Both good and bad moods are part of life. But if a person's mood becomes overwhelming, it can influence almost every area of life. Mood can be affected after stroke for many reasons. The damage within the brain can directly influence someone's emotions. In addition, mood may be influenced by loss of independence, pain and discomfort, difficulty communicating, changes in thinking or behavior, social factors such as loss of jobs or grow in society. Someone who is low in mood may appear tearful, angry or withdrawn. They may also have loss of appetite, poor sleep, changes in energy level, or poor concentration. They may lack interest in looking after themselves or have reduced interaction with family and friends. What can you do to help? Ask. Ask how someone is feeling. Listen. Listen to their story. Allow them to express their emotions. <laughs> Reassure. Reassure them that how they are feeling is due to the stroke. It is normal to feel sad after a stroke. Encourage the person to talk to their friends and family about how they are feeling, both good and bad. Mood is likely to improve over time. However, if low mood persists or is impacting on someone's ability to take part in their rehabilitation, then discuss this with the medical team. Think about how you might feel if you suffered a stroke. What emotions might you experience? Mood, acts, listen, reassure.